Google is rolling out some new AI features on Gmail today that can access your entire Gmail history by default. If you put it uh, on users to op choose to opt out, I should say. Mackenzie Zagalos has more in today's tech check. Uh, I welcome our AI overlords, Mackenzie. Some people don't welcome them. Um, what can you tell us? So this is Google rebuilding Gmail around Gemini. This AI personal assistant that's designed to understand you now lives in your inbox. Gemini can read across years of your correspondence to learn how you write and what you care about. Drafting replies in your voice and Kelly, you can now ask your inbox anything. Your friend's electrician from a renovation 15 years ago, Gemini will find that answer. Google says all 3 billion Gmail users will have access to the tools and if you're in the U.S., you are opted in by default. To turn it off, you have to do it manually. So you go to either the Gmail app on your phone or to your desktop, head into settings, scroll down to smart features and uncheck the box. And if you want to lock it down across your broader account, not just email, but other apps too, like Google Docs, there are additional boxes you'll need to disable as well. Now, Google says this is not about training its AI models, a product lead telling me that your inbox stays in a unique, isolated environment. They say the system is meant to power personal for you, not train its LLM. And a word of caution here, Kelly, opting out can come with trade-offs. Depending on your account settings, turning off these features may also disable some of Gmail's built-in organization, like those primary promotions and social tabs, which mm. can make the experience feel a lot noisier. You go from inbox zero to inbox 15,000 like that. Wow, okay, which might be why <laughs> some people have tried. But I am confused because I thought we already had these features. Like, is it just the Gemini button that's been here for a while, or is this something new? So this is something new. They had some auto-generation of messages within the context of a particular Thread, but we are talking about going back 10 plus years, really understanding how you speak and just having it be a more bespoke experience, just smarter and more informed messages that it's auto generating for you. Yeah, because I've, I've, I don't know if it's this version I've already had or if there's some new version. I messed around. It's, it's pretty good. I, I wish it were better, honestly. It's, it's not so much. I know others have more of the security and privacy concerns. I'm glad you asked them about that, but I just want it to work better. You know? Yeah, and I think that that's like the big bet that Google is making, right? That the user experience is better. People won't even notice when you have uh, some of these features automatically just become a seamless part of the experience, which is why it's an auto rollout in the U.S. And we've just seen that play out in the numbers in terms of adoption. It's really just become ChatGBT versus Gemini when you think about the consumer experience. And some recent data from similar web shows that they are really closing the gap. Like the trend lines in terms of adoption just are concerning for OpenAI. And that's part of why they called it Code Red. I was just about to ask about that. It, it has been noteworthy. Look at the stock, right? It, new all-time highs. What did we say? The market cap uh, surpassed Apple's again. So they're, they, they had a rocky rollout, obviously, on the AI front. But Gemini is fabulous. People, myself included, use it all the time. If they can really get it to optimize better for Gmail... You know, I have to imagine that's a lot, even a lot more upside. Yeah, and so on the Gmail side, you're thinking so much about the consumer. And then Google Workspace, there's a whole go-to-market team around selling this to enterprise. If I'm Microsoft, I'm paying attention to their strategy here. And, and like you said, it is now only behind NVIDIA in the MAG7 in terms of market cap, wow. $4 trillion uh, now. Wow. And it's just, it's Wall Street rewarding their AI strategy. They were caught on the back foot when ChatGPT came out three just mm -hmm. over three years ago, and now they've really closed that gap. They are outperforming on the benchmarks, and we really started to see that adoption curve flip in November when they rolled out Gemini 3. That was a game changer for the experience. Yeah, it's a great product. Mac, thanks. Appreciate it, Mackenzie Sigalo.